Frank Seppi here at the 2018 IFBB Pittsburgh Pro with the one and only Phil Heath. In my opinion, the greatest Mr. Olympia of all time. How do you feel about that? Uh, no pressure, but uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really good right now, so you know I can't wait to show everybody what's up come September. You know why I say that is because no one's even come close in scoring against you in the last seven years, right? I mean, people always like, oh, he was close, he was close. Not really. No, not really. I mean, a lot of the guys that obviously I compete against will say, no, it was close. Their fans will say it was close. They'll, they'll hear from some other blogger that it was close. But the score sheets are what dictates if it's close or not. That's the truth. And um, sometimes they don't want to accept that. But, you know, they just have to. The, the numbers don't lie. 20 years from now, 50 years from now, they'll look at the numbers and say it was never close. But, um, you know, it doesn't mean I don't respect the guys that com uh, oh, competed against. So, yeah. I know they're working their butt off to make sure that, you know, I don't get number eight. But I do also know what I'm made of and what has gotten me here in the first place. So, you know, I meet the challenge head on and I, I enjoy the battle and I want history for myself, sure. you know? Now, last Mr. Olympia, you had to go for surgery yes. right after. So how's that, how's that going? You healing? I mean, shit, I don't know. <laughs> Some of y'all at home thought I was gonna have, do I shoot dudes from the side? Uh-huh. Show them the vacuum. Like, y'all was over here tripping. Y'all thought, they really thought that I was gonna mess this up. Oh man, they're, they're so messed up now. So either you're gonna be on Team Heath and you're gonna root for me, or you're gonna be on the other guys that's been losing for the last seven years. Which one you wanna be? I'd be on the winning side. But beyond that, I'm very excited that I got that done. Yeah. Um, my surgeon was amazing. He's worked on a lot of other IFBB pros. I won't name names, but they're in the building. So. They've gotten benefit, now I get benefit. I can breathe better, I can train harder, renew the blood supply because of course, you know, double hernia, intestinal strangulation, all that crap. But I'm very excited to peel this down and shred up, bring that 3D crazy shit that I've been wanting to bring you guys for a long time. 2013, 2.0, that, that show, I did one call out, got sent back, that's the goal. Uh, to be crazy round and, and you know, I've got the mature muscle now, so I'm gonna apply that with that 3D stuff and um, You know, hey, I mean you guys I don't have a I don't have a stomach. So what do you want to say? I don't know what you're gonna say you're gonna make up something else this year Make up something funny. How about make something about like why I can't grow hair or something like that But uh, that I'm short or something, you know, five nine or something like that. No matter what you could come in and be 500 times better than somebody, but they're always gonna find something oh, yeah. wrong. You know, at, at this show, we're at the, obviously, NPC Pittsburgh Championships. A lot of these guys are paying their dues right now. And yes. when you came out, I mean, you were you know, obviously a genetic freak. You know, you took the NPC by storm, but when you got to the IFBB, you had to pay your dues, yep. just like everybody else. Absolutely. So, I mean, what the younger guys, and, or even the new guys that are attending this event, yeah. Uh, as a guest poser should be really honored because a lot of the people that have guest posed here have gone on to win multiple Arnold Classic titles, Mr. Olympia titles, I mean world titles everywhere. Mm -hmm. So they're a most great company. What I encourage them also is to spend that time getting to know one another on a different level because guys like me you're only going to see maybe a few times a year. Yeah. I don't do the same tours as them, uh, do the contracts and stuff like that. So I think they could, it's always good to be around good company. For instance, uh, here I am training at the gym, and then Roly Winkler said, hey, let's go train together. I said, why not? Let's go do it. And even Hani, my tr coach, was like, sure, come on. We did back together yesterday. So I'm not going to say no. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not that crazy rivalry, I hate you, let's do it. Lee Haney trained with Richard Sperry and this and that. He oh, cool. I mean, we can still do that in this sport, and I'm sure a lot of people would have loved to film it. But in the future, you know, I just want all those guys to know that they're champions. We got Nathan Diash, he's getting ready for New York Pro. He's talked a lot of trash, so, you know, we're going to see what he's up to. That happens but, every year. Everyone's got to say something. That's what's good. But it's great because he's motivated. He wants to go do his thing, and he came here to kind of want to gauge himself. Like, okay, I know these guys are off season, but I want to see. I want to stand next to him. I just want to stand next to him. 
Um, but I'm, I'm excited about this event. You know, um, you know, I, I think the first time, I think it's about 10 years I've been coming here. And, you know, shout out to Jim Mannion, you know, and his staff. Thanks for having me all these years. Because I was able to see when Ronnie passed the torch to Jay, when Jay got beat by Dexter, Dexter got beat by Jay again, kicked all our ass, and then I came in. So I was able to witness a lot of this stuff brewing over the past 10 years due to this show. How annoying is it people go, I beat, I beat Phil, but it was like nine years ago. <laughs> I don't know if it's really annoying, but it's comical. <laughs> oh, yeah, I beat Mr. Olympia. <laughs> oh, it's definitely comical. You know, I'm, I, I think... Uh, it's like when Jordan didn't right, win the first couple right, of series, right, but you're he won like, six championships. <laughs> I think, the, I think the, the fu it's more funny, it's comedy, and, but then I realize, in all seriousness, it's them paying respect in a, in a different manner. Yeah. They're basically saying that I, I was on stage with him, I beat him, yeah. or I did this to him, and now he's gone on and done greater things. That's how I interpret it. I mean, normally you would be like, this guy's just talking trash, and yeah. you know that's pathetic. No, nah, man, they're, they're just excited. It's no different than me saying to, gosh, I just ran into Jeff Capel, the new coach over at Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. He's here with recruits, you know, touring them around. I, I'm a huge fan of his, and I was like, man, I used to play basketball with this guy who plays in the NBA and this and that. So I'm doing the same thing yep. because I pay her great at what they do. Well, we're in an era now where the bodybuilders are, you know, so much bigger, so much more vascular, I mean, better conditioned than, than years past. So that's why I say you're the best Mr. Olympia because you beat the who's who, the guys talking trash, you know, the guys overseas coming in, I'm going to take your title. And you have beaten them over, seven, over the past seven years. So you should get your just due because the proof is there. You've taken on all comers. That's why I say that. I am a fan of the sport and I've been following it since I was a kid. So that's that's why I, no, I, I said. No, I appreciate it. And you know, I've been fortunate to have have this run, um, doing things smart. You know, I remember, you know, for all you guys don't know, Frank and I used to work together at Metrics. Yeah. I remember placing fifth at my first Arnold Classic. The first thing I thought was, holy crap, this is the uh, second time consecutive year that I qualified for the Olympia and I thought I was going to have to be obligated to compete and you said no just continue to grow everything's going to be fine we'll do some tours and everything worked out mm -hmm. I didn't have the pressure um, to, to get up on stage right away because I needed to be seasoned and, and learn the system and, and learn my body and it was moves like that that enabled me to say okay he sees something you saw something I took advantage of that came back the following year at that same Arnold Classic got second place if I would have done the Olympia that year, I probably would have got 10th, 12th, maybe, you know, lost in the shuffle. But I used that time wisely, and I think that's what's been my greatest asset is that when I have that year off, I'm able to apply whatever weakness I have and turn into a strength. I think, you know what, when you do retire, people are going to appreciate you more. Right now, people are going to go to the Olympia to see you lose. They're waiting for you to lose. And then if you do lose eventually, if you do lose, it's like, oh, he lost. But I still won seven Olympia <laughs> champions. It doesn't make any sense. Right. You know? It's, it's uh, I've, I've had to, I think what I'm trying to say is I've had to mature yeah. and then and also allow those fans mature. Because, you know, I'm a living proof of people that, you know, a lot of people on social media, they want to be champions in their own life. I am that, and you see what comes with it. Yeah. You have to want whatever your craft is to be to be the best at it. You have to want that more than anything, because you know the people that once congratulated you are the ones now hating you. And that's what hurts, but then once you get past that and realize, that has nothing to do with me. Phil, he, that has nothing, I'm, my job is to be the best I can be. If that bothers somebody, that is their problem. So maybe encourage your favorite person a little bit more to go to the gym. Maybe fly out, yeah. make sure that they're eating right, make sure they're doing the cardio exactly. on time. If that's what you want, go do that. Because coming back at me, I know how to tune that out, obviously, with seven sandals. I actually like it. Yeah. I actually like it when I'm trying to get these guys to talk shit at lunch just so we can have some mental stimulation. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I take it with all within stride. And I do recognize in other sports it would be no different. You know, Same the thing, Patriots. Yeah, like Patriots. Warriors. You know, Warriors. LeBron James can't yeah. get a break. He's a scoring, scoring machine. They still say he's not Steve better than Bayless him. ripping him on a daily basis. All, all day. People, you know, and that's, a, and that's the funny yeah. thing here in our sport right now is that people can make careers off of yeah. talking about guys like me. But then I realize 
they're talking about me. They're talking about the wins. They're talking about whatever controversy they're trying to draw up. And like I said, I'm just living proof that for anyone that wants to be a champion at anything, it's going to come with a lot of sacrifice. It's going to come with a lot of misunderstanding by others. And you have to be so in tune with who you are right. that none of this stuff can cloud your judgment. None of this can uh, you know, ruin or sour your wins. And you always, always, always have to learn at some point in time to give back and encourage others. You know what, I see you at shows, and not because we're friends, but you're always nice to competitors. You always take the time to talk to them. You're the first champion that has to deal with social media. So it's a whole other element. But let's talk about your new fitness app. You have a new fitness app out, right? I have a new fitness app. It launched at the Arnold Classic. It's called the Fit app, P-H-I-T app. Uh, it stands for Phil Heath Instructional Training. I got with some good guys, and we are like, talking about this for the last five, six years. Like, why not have some type of fitness app that has me? Exclusive content on just how to train, but understanding that the people that are going to use this aren't trying to be Mr. Olympia. They're just trying to be a better version of them. Right. So I'm looking at these workouts just like how I observe people in normal gyms and then trying to apply my workouts and say, hey, here's a tip here. Here's a, if, if you're not feeling this, you're probably doing it wrong. Let me show you. And it's a great way of me to keep in tune with my being an IT grad, you know, using my <laughs> damn brain yeah. and my, you know, and my degree. So then I realized that um, there's a lot of cool things to be offered. I did it primarily because of how social media is currently, that everybody wants to be on Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. But yet, they're not really learning. They're showboating. They're just showboating. Yeah. They're not teaching. They're not encouraging. Because what's encouraging for a person that doesn't win anything? So people will always ask for content of me. They want to see what I train like going into Olympia. They want to see what I look like posing down to educate them about the sport of bodybuilding and how it can be applied to their walk of life. So I love it. It's going to evolve. It's going to continue to evolve. And what I, my main goal is, and I'm glad we're able to talk about it, is that I'm going to enable this to create a, its own community. So I'll be able to hire other trainers and actually pay them for their likeness that they don't receive on the other social media platforms because they don't have the blue check mark verification. They don't have the million followers, but they're a badass trainer. They can, they can be an affiliate through my program. I endorse them and give them an opportunity to be great. And that's, and it's, and it's, and of course, you know, it's a pay prescription thing, you know, but I'll be honest, for $9.99 a month, me training you, uh, that ain't bad. It's like going to Derek Jeter to learn how to play shortstop. <laughs> and, you know, we have in-app purchases. Yeah. We can allow people to come meet me, train with me, do phone consults, all that cool stuff. I just want to make sure I'm giving back. And it's, it's more the sharing of information on a real platform, unlike the main ones that we see. I am on Instagram nonstop, and I don't get asked any questions because maybe they feel like they know everything or maybe they're shy or whatever it is. But this app is dedicated for that. So people that really want to know, they're going to be on that app. It's a great opportunity, obviously, you know, your, your skill set for what you have accomplished. And you, like you said, not everybody wants to be a bodybuilder, but you can make them a little bit better than what they are currently. And that's the point. Of course, absolutely. I mean, we're the guinea pigs of society when it comes to health and fitness and also wellness. Every diet they see, we've already tried and done. So bodybuilding has been a microcosm for everything. We've already done it. and. Yeah. We're, we're probably a decade ahead of the industry than any of like, the doctors and physicians and sports, even sports conditioning people. But it's about time that you know, I try to offer this to others, and I'm just really excited about it. How do people get in, you know, in touch with this? So they go online at www.fitphitnow.com. Um, you can go through the App Store on Android and on uh, Apple mm -hmm. and uh, sign up there. It's a huge opportunity. I'm sure all the NPC competitors out there will want to take a look at that. And, and anybody that wants to get in shape, take advantage of training with this guy. Like I said, the greatest Mr. Olympia of all time. Phil, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it. Thank you. This is Frank Seppi for NPC News Online.